Good morning. It's coffee from David Meowy today. Mm -mm. And toast with peanut butter on because I can. I shouldn't do it every day. But they've been sat there for a couple of days and that, that bread needs eating. I just had like four slices out. So, it, you know, anyways, whatever. As long as I'm loving life, eh? I'm still looking at my little haul from yesterday going like, it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Um, This one ended up being um, possibly Belgium. So there you go. Proper Art Deco from Belgium. And the Guilloche. Um, dates from 1912. So that's cool. And then this one dates from 1890 that's fab isn't it and this i think actually might be bakelite and um, was there any other updates oh yes and this one the uh rolled gold one is um by cousin leichtenfels um which is a good art deco maker so that's just went up loads which is cool and um beautiful isn't it <laughs> anyways on to today's stuff so i've got 15 things going out today 16 joan uh joanie joan our joan was like oh amethyst earrings so i showed her a bunch of amethyst earrings and then um, she went shopping crazy but i did her a sweet deal because it's joanie joan so i'm just gonna polish them up in a sec, put them in a little box and send them out to her. Um, and I'll show you the other 15 things that I've sold after I've had my coffee and toast. I've just spent approximately half hour just going like this. I love a good stare. Um, anyways, things going out then today. And this morning, so I've had a couple of sales. So a little 90s heart print dress. I think there was a, is there a little fault on there or something? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, went for seven pounds or took an offer of seven pounds or sent an offer of seven pounds. It went for seven pounds anyway. Um, a glass swirly ring, 7.99. Some Sporofsky dangly earrings they've got like the swan on the back uh, 20 pounds i should stop scratching um because i'm getting blue dye underneath my fingernails and it's going to be fun going swimming because it's just all gonna anyways anyways and some little cluster clip-on earrings with a little purple stone in there six pounds a sterling silver disco ball necklace i'm just gonna wipe over that uh chain just make it sparkle a little bit more uh 9.99 a new look broderie anglaise skirt and can't really see it there obviously went for 10 pounds a uh a regency inspired brooch seven pounds 19 the last of these cat in the heart necklaces, super cute, $11.99. An Aztec inspired copper core bangle, went for $5.99. Two kilograms of jewelry, uh, $15.99 including post. Everything else is plus post. A 70s cross medallion style necklace $8.99 vintage art deco dangly it is that one now isn't it it's not that one good job i checked it's not that one it's a different one anyway the different one went for $4.99 let's open the picture up there right same but different um a saturn planet necklace and then it's little sparkly penguin, little penguin, 
They went for £13.98 altogether. This Concord tie pin, Concord, £11.99. And All Saints handcuffs chain, £15. A coral beaded necklace, £12. And then two, ki two times two kilograms of jewellery is going to Anne. Hello, Anne. Um, she decided to treat herself to two bags. She says, I subscribe to your YouTube channel and I love your videos, especially your sparkly bits ones. They're my favourites too. Um, I bought two of your two kilogram bags previously and was very happy with what I got in my bags. So she's bought some more. Um, I'll give you a sneaky peek at one, that one, only because I want to say that that one there, I think, is by a company called Goose Island, because I really recognise that style that they do. Goose Island have a shop in Cowbridge and um, their stuff is quite tastily priced. So there you go, there's, there's your bag's worth, your, your money's worth in that, in that one necklace there. So enjoy. Right, I'd better package these up and then decide on where it is I'm going today. Heading out now. So did I turn left or turn right? For those of you that don't live in my house, that's not going to mean anything to either of you. But basically, turn right means going into town and turn left means go to Cowbridge or Tesco. Um, I'm not taking you charity shopping in Tesco for obvious reasons. So we're going to go to Cowbridge. Which, um, in comparison to yesterday, might actually seem cheap. <laughs> that would be fun. So I'm gonna wait for the bus and head on in and you're coming too. And we're here in Cowbridge. That was the bus, charity shops, and the gorgeous smell from the elephant and bun, which is always just so evil, but it smells so good. Anyway, cue the music, let's go shop.
Well, that's the majority of them done. I think then I've got two more up there. And I'm just gonna pop in the post office and then I'm gonna go for a coffee. Quite tempted, but no idea how I'd get it home. There's a Villaroy and Bob, um, six setting, like dinner service. So bowls, side plates, plates, serving dishes. And they want a hundred pound, which is a real good price but God knows how I'd get it home. <sighs> Never mind. can't have a good day. A, a, but I mean I still bought some nice stuff mm. you know yeah but not as exciting as yesterday but I will show you seeing as we're filming right now I did spend too much money on two boxes but bless it was in cancer research and I had some stuff from the cabinet and she was like oh I'm so glad you're buying some things like we've had a terrible day today like no. we barely made anything oh, so so you got the sob story oh no but she was really nice as well because no. she, she was talking about her friend with blue hair that put like pink bits in it and stuff and we're talking about how high maintenance it is to you know keep color in your hair and things she was just she was quite groovy so I, I was mm. like okay I'll, mm. I'll find some more things to buy mm. so I bought these I bought this for a tenner but it's really cool vintage like fish box yeah like it's cool and then it just thought yeah. it was nice yeah it's... oh and there's something inside that's inside mm. a 
how cool I don't it's not if only that was gold but I don't think it is but it's it's there it's we a are piece of shell it's something might be anyway yeah it looks like a bit of okay this is gonna gross everyone out it's fake mm. it's not it's faux pearl mm. but um still yeah, but I think the, the cash box thing is, is it's nice and it's got a proper key. And it's nice. It's not something so proper sturdy and, you know. And then I spent five pounds on this one because it's a nice bit of wood. Oh, no yes. key for this one. Yes. But it's musical, it's musical as well. Box. It's a musical one. Oh, if I set it off now, it's going to do it all the way through. Should stop in first. Okay, it's it's a bit slow on the tunage. Okay, yeah, <laughs> um, that's probably why it says restoration project on it. But I just thought it were right nice. It says Le Monde. And then a bit of the sticker has come off of whatever it was before that. But the shape of it is dead nice, isn't it? Like imagine, mm. like mm. we've seen, you know, nice cabinets and things that look like that. Mm. Anyways, I just like a nice wooden box. Um, this was two pounds. It's a little bit of, just take, carefully take the sticker off. So a little china, just trinket dish, marked foreign, but I thought that was nice. Hmm, Indian? Not Indian. Oh, Chinese. Is it Chinese? Or? Yeah. It could look, it'd be Japanese if it's Japanese, foreign. yeah. Um, a calf kidston top for a pound. It's a size 12. But you know, cuffs kids and top for a pound that'll sell. Mm. And then jewellery wise. Now there is no phone reception at all in Cowbridge. It's just gonna it's like a haunted jewellery box, isn't it? Um right. Some rather groovy clip-on earrings for four pounds. Very 60s, 70s. Atomic. Any maker on them? No, no maker. But I like them, so there we go. Um, this, which has got a nice quartz and some marker seat in it. Um, says it's silver, it's not silver. But it's a nice brooch, £7.50 I spent on that. But it is nice. This one is silver. Amazing, is it Amazing, Amazing Grace? Grace? Amazing Grace. This, oh my God, right, this was nice. 12 pounds I spent on this one, but this is nice. And that's some moss agate in there. That's oh, lovely, that's isn't nice. it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Um, this is Atwood and Sawyer. So good make and nice leaping flounce. Mm -hmm. Is it Springbok? It looks actually just like a freaking, yeah. it's a Pokemon. It's freaking Eevee Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> Another Scottish bit. Can't remember how much I spent on this. Five pounds. Um, it's just nice. Yeah, nice and twist and silver. This one, what does that say on there? Probably just says A1 or something. Where's my loop gone? Loopity loop, let's find the loop. How much did I spend on that? Four pounds. And, oh, it's money. Here we go. But it's a nice deco style. Mm. Do, do. I think it just needs to spray it's up. Something. WD-40, yeah. Six pounds on these. Some lovely micro mosaic clip-on earrings. I mean, this is all way more than I would like to spend on stuff. But I can't leave it. Because that means someone else will buy it. And I can't have that. It's all mine. Um, 
this is quite a random one didn't look it up but it's it's four pounds orchid silver plate but it's it's a pen on a chain <laughs> um and i know that's silly but i just liked it it's a little pen and it just reminds me of pauline from yeah. um league of gentlemen you know she she would love that that would be her retirement gift and they would spend four quid on her i i just i just think it's fun that's all um some of them i've gambled on so i'm gambling on that for two quid possibly being silver maybe feels it's got the weight of it yeah it's got the weight uh these earrings for two pound fifty i just again i don't want to spend two pound fifty on some clip-on earrings i want to spend 50 pence on them however i like them so i bought them because i have amazing taste um oh god um, where's the silver yeah because i have amazing taste i know someone out there will like them and be, will be willing to buy them but these are fab They're fab clip-on earrings, aren't they? I mean, I know you wouldn't wear them, Mum. <coughs> so you're no. not going to steal them off me today. No. no. So that's good. Um, for a pound, I bought a little Harrods Taurus keyring. Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell. Yes, we know. Mm -hmm. There's the tower. We know. Um, this from Fossil. It's a stainless steel bangle. I spent a fiver on that. Which is silly, but I should get 15 for it. Uh, this was a gamble. This is Mancini. But not really a gamble when it's 99p. But very nice stones, whatever they are. Mm. And obviously you have like a little clip-on charm there. So that might be silver. But I've never heard of Mancini. But the stones were nice anyway. For a stretch bracelet. Um, this looks like a brand that I've sold before that I can't remember the name of, but anyway, the beads are really cool on it. They're really pretty. Like, mm. look at that. That's fun. That was two pounds, but it's fun. Spent three pounds on this. Again, not what I want to spend on a black glass necklace, but it's nice. It's graduated, you know, good condition. It's just nice. That's a handsome bit of glass. £2.50 on an enamel lizard. He's just fun. Like, he's nice because it's a crawly up your lapel one. I've rescued a bit of jewellery from Capel Jones, the little, um, you know, the smallest antique shop in the world. But it's by the same maker as the guillotte one I bought yesterday. It is damaged. That's why I had to buy it. And I did spend £8 on it, which is too much. But... It is pretty. Oh, yeah. I just thought it, it's going to sit there mm. and I wanted to rescue it. And it's the same maker as I bought yesterday. So it's going to have a friend. Mm. It's really silly that I'm anthropomorphizing. That's not a word. Um, bits of jewellery. But gonna, yeah. give it a home. Poor thing. I know it's silly, but can't help it. Um, this is a fab brooch. I think this was four quid. And it's insane. And I oh love it. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Like, that is going to be by some big maker that doesn't annoyingly sign their pieces. But that is fab. I love it. I've got a little bit of gold for a tenner. It's not the chain on the tie pin, it's just the jigsaw puzzle piece that's nine carat gold. But still, like, it's still gold. Mm. and it's still fun mm. I'll get more than a tenner for that anyway and then the last purchase I think this was three quid for the he, he see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys in brass three wise monkeys yeah so again it's not as exciting as yesterday's finds and I probably spent too much on what I've actually got but they're still all sound purchases you know Mm. it's still all good so i'm happy i'm just happy to spend money anyways it's probably time for some lunch and then i am gonna go for a swim this afternoon here we are again at 
Sydney Spa and Leisure Club. Ooh. Gonna have a nice chill swim. By the way, I didn't have any lunch. I forgot actually. But gonna have a nice chill swim and relax by the pool, maybe sit in the steam room and sauna for a bit. And uh, yeah, chill and then get back and have a nice big dinner. That's the plan anyway. It's actually a really lovely day as well. Looking forward to getting in the pool, cooling off a bit. I can never pass a cat without saying hello. Say hello, little ginger one. Hiya. You okay? Oh, you nice under a bush there. You're so pretty. Back home from swimming, and I've got a bit of a hunger on, so I'm having. Um, well, that's obviously salad with some mozzarella cheese and cardini sauce. There's some tomatoes, just slightly roasted, some uh, cauliflower rice, and a couple of burgers. Yum, yum. Okay, folks. That probably, well, that is me for the day. Um, I'm going to chill on my bed and maybe watch a film. I don't know. And I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow and I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I don't know what I'm doing. I still fancy going a couple of places but then also maybe I'll just have a day of pottering around the house and mooching and stuff. But we'll see. Don't expect a vlog from me tomorrow is what I'm saying because I might not be doing anything. But until next time. <laughs>